Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancers, I am here to do your daily reading, my darlings. Yay! This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, Cancer, and toss out the rest, right? Don't try to force any reading into your world. You guys know that, right? And thank you so much, Cancers. I love you. Thank you so much for all of your support. I truly, truly mean that, you guys. The likes, the subscribes, the comments, everything. Everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so much for all of your support. All right, so Divine, what do you have for Cancer today? The last day of June, Cancer. Oh, somebody wants to reunite. Oh, they're feeling like a fool. You really are. The, look at this, Cancer. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow, Cancer. What is going on? All You know what? I, seriously, this is great. Your person, they want to go back, and uh, they're feeling like a fool. They want to take a leap of faith back here, back to you, and reunite, okay? Um, this person could have done something like impulsive in the past. Um, I've been seeing it, a, a big risk taker, you know, maybe didn't think things through. Now they want to come back here towards you. You, uh, you know, this is definitely a person from your past, okay? I feel like they see you as the most loving person in the deck, all right, or the most loving queen in the deck. Um, your MO is love, Cancer, okay? You are the Ten of Cups. You would give this person ultimate um, wish fulfillment. You would give this person emotional fulfillment. And I feel like that's what this person wants. I feel like there's, uh, there's an energy here that really wants love, and they want it with you. <laughs> they want it with you. I feel like to, in their eyes, there just kind of is no other. Um, seriously, and this person is kind of happily taking a leap of faith to come and reunite with you, Cancer. This is going to be sudden, you know, tower moments aren't always bad. This is something sudden, and I feel like if that, if this person chose someone else over you and they've been living with somebody or committed to someone, not anymore, I feel like a karmic situation has come to an end, man. And this person is like, it's almost like they're whistling a little tune here, Cancer, you know? Bop, be bopping around, along on their way right straight back to you. They want to be loved. They want to be loved by the queen that loves like no other. And that would be your energy, Cancer. I feel like um, you may not feel the same about this person. You're kind of saying goodbye here. Taking a quick look over your shoulder and just sort of um, reflecting, okay? Reflecting back a little bit on, on all that you've been through. Because, I mean, you're entering into a whole new chapter of your life here, okay? And it's going to be like a night and day difference. I feel from what you're used to but you're ready for this now uh, you know how to handle all of this abundance all the opportunities that are going to come your way you know how to handle all the attention that you're getting here because you're in the public eye lots of people can spot you you're on a glow up you know and um, you've graduated from all of those hard lessons from the last cycle cancer you're ready to move forward I feel like you're guarding over your love because you know your you know what your love is worth. You know it is the Ten of Cups. And so does this person. They're ending something over here. Uh, you don't see this coming, Cancer. You could be dealing with the, another Cancer or a Scorpio or an Aries, okay, or a Gemini. But look at this. You don't know this, but this person really does feel this connection, I've got to say. Um, and they're seeing it as very much a mystery. They're seeing you as very much a mis like you're a mysterious creation. You know what I mean? Uh, they can't take their eyes off of you, Cancer. 
they're losing sleep at night. Their eyes are all dark and sunken. Look at that. I feel like you've been spiritually led here. You're you're listening very intently to the messages that you're getting from the divine. Okay? Cuz they're they've led you through this journey this whole time. They've leveled you up in your life as well. Okay? I feel like you've become very knowledgeable and very abundant and I feel like this person just they can't take their eyes off of you. I'm hearing that song. Yeah, that's just it. You're just too good to be true. Like, for real. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. <laughs> All right. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. I don't know who does that song. Who does it, guys? Um, yeah, they, they think you're just too good to be true. And they're very happily taking a leap of faith. You know, this is a risk taker. They're taking a risk coming back to you here. Um, but man, you have got this person. I'm telling you. All right. <laughs> da -na -da. See, this is how they're strutting. Da -na -da -na -da -na -na. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's how the song goes. I need you, baby. I don't know the I don't know the words, but yeah, you're. I mean, you're just too good to be true, and it's your intuition. It's the way you're getting the messages from the divine. You're freaking mysterious. Uh, you know, you could even be. Um, you're very intuitive. Uh, you could be another. Um, tarot card reader even out here on YouTube. I feel very much that you put yourself in the public eye and and you're sexy. Look at how sexy you are. I love you, baby. I don't know how the song goes, so I wish I did. I wish I did. Yeah. And they're just prancing along like whistling, you know, do 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 whoever knows the name of that song please put it down in the comments clearly that's your song for this reading cancer yeah look i i feel like this person they're doing some self-reflecting too reflecting back on all the years that they wasted without you cancer for real um Maybe they didn't think you were as, as awesome as you are, you know, because um, you are just too good to be true here, but it's true. It's, oh, it's true. And you're proving that it's true, okay? Right out there, putting yourself out there, Cancer. <laughs> Blad out, here I am. I'm the real, you're the real Slim Shady. I'm here in Eminem now in my, in my head. Yeah, I'm the real Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. <laughs> All you other Slim Shadies are just imitating, right? Yeah, won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? Yeah, they know now you're the real Slim Shady, yet you're such an enigma. <laughs> you're a big mystery here, Cancer. Yeah, they're digging it. You've got them. Um, but yeah, they're standing here reflecting on all of the time that they wasted being without you this is kind of thinking about what could have been here because they spent this person could have spent up to five to seven years someplace else investing their time energy effort love uh, money whatever into growing something that just didn't work out okay um, but this is, here's the thing, we've got the Fool card out here and that one little pentacle. That's telling me that this person already knows they've got to ha take a new beginning. And this is what makes them happily just prance back to you here, Cancer, because they want their enigma. They want their mysterious Cancer, right? Because <laughs> you're just, you're too good to be true, yet you're true. You're the real Slim Shady. I don't even know how else to... Yeah, and I, this person is learning a lesson here. And I feel like they're also being divinely led. This, Like I said, this could be a twin flame soulmate connection. They had to do some uh, lesson learning here, Cancer. And they're being shown... Like I said, you're in the public eye. You're the real Slim Shady. 
um, all the other Slim Shadies are just imitating, right? I love you, baby. Then I hear that in my head. Yeah, this person is being shown. It's like the divine is making you brighter and brighter and brighter for this person to see. They can't take their eyes off of you. All right, so what action is this person going to take towards cancer? Already we got a leap of faith. A new beginning, wanting a new journey, and this one little pentacle here, yeah. This, I feel like they're coming towards you, Cancer. What action is this person going to take towards Cancer, please? So a couple songs, right? Um, Eminem and I don't know who does the other one. I'm sorry, Cancer. They're just popping in my head. Love. They want love. They want to be loved the right way by the one who knows how to do it the best. And that would be you, Cancer. They want this blessing in love. The divine is like, are you going to take a look at this now? Because we've tried to give this to you before. Here it is again. Are you going to take a look at this? Because we're shining a bright light on you are in the spotlight. Do you see what I'm saying? And, and it's, it's very clear to see, <laughs> I love you, baby. Right, you know? This person's in love with you. They can't shake this, this connection. They just can't. Um, yeah, they're seeing this. This is the real deal. This person's getting messages. This is your soulmate. Um, but, you know, here's the thing, Cancer. You're moving forward. See, you're moving forward. You're not speaking to this person. You're using your intuition. You're listening. You're very focused on the divine and the messages that they're sending you, the direction that they're sending you in, okay? Because you know through this whole entire journey that they're, they've been the only ones really who have been there for you. Is your spirit guides, God, the divine spirit, call it what you will, but yeah, you are, I feel like you're committed to the messages. I feel like you're committed to your journey and your future. And I feel very much like uh, you're a star energy here. You're out in the public eye and you're moving forward, balanced, healed, with the ability to heal other people. So you, you know, you may have a decision to make here when it comes to love, whether or not to take this person back. Because I'm telling you, Cancer, they're taking a step towards you here. It's a leap of faith. It's a leap of faith after putting an effort somewhere else, okay? But you, I feel like you need to use your intuition and your discernment with everybody who comes towards you, okay? But this person's coming. They want this blessing. Clarify that. Thank you. That's a lot, though. Yeah, I feel like you're causing quite the stir up around um, friends in their life. Friends, family. I feel like this, wherever they've been spending time in, it's coming to an end. And there's people around them in, in their circle that are giving them a hard time. This person really what does want to start something new with you. They want to be loved, but they're having to like battle with other people in order to come towards you, okay? And I feel like that's it. People are maybe talking down on you like, oh, that's the other woman or, oh, you know, you're cheating or something like that. You know, there's, they could be saying bad things about you here, Cancer, and this person... They may be defending you here because they know they want you. This is somebody who knows what they want. Hands down. They're not questioning anything here. As a matter of fact, I feel like they are defending you against the opinions of others. Maybe even causing a big fight or, you know, whatever. Fighting for you, basically. Fighting for you. Uh, yeah, justice for the temperance angel here. I feel like the scales are going to be balanced. Um, you're going to get 
some kind of clarity in this situation, Cancer. And I really feel like this temperance angel is you. I feel like you're a divine feminine. Okay? I really do. I mean, we've got the star, the world, temperance, uh, the high priestess, and the lover's card. So it's pretty clear to me that this could be a twin flame soulmate connection. Um, but yeah, I feel like just as you're trying to manifest somebody new, a new soulmate connection here, uh, this person comes in. I, I feel like you're going to get, yeah, you're going to get clarity. And the scales are about to be balanced. This is somebody who treated you foolishly before um took a bunch of risks where they were too impulsive with your love maybe said goodbye to you in the past but i'm telling you now now it's a different story now they're like i know what i want and i'm gonna defend it yeah they're bossing up this is somebody who is bossing up cancer Learning their lessons. This is someone who knows what they want. And I'm telling you, they're coming towards you, Cancer, and currently they're defending you. They're defending their decision, and they're going to be taking a leap of faith in your direction. So get ready, my darlings. Um, anyway, Cancer, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, so far, it looks really good. I am going to bring this over to the extended. Um, I want to see what happens next, okay? And I want to take a look into this. What are people saying exactly about you? So, yeah. Anyway, Cancers, I love you guys. Don't, please, no, no new members on Patreon until July 1st. Um, I don't want you to feel like you're being charged twice. Because the Patreon's going to charge you anyway on the first of the month. So just wait a day, please. Um, the, the messages will still be there for you. They're not going anywhere. So, yeah, we'll see you over there, new members. We'll see you there on July 1st, okay? Anyway, Cancers, if you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel, right? If you like this um if you like this vibe and it's resonating with you, and, and the soul tribe is the best. So, yeah. And until next time, Cancers, take care of you, my darlings, and peace out.